Sounds like freedom. Laughing in our faces. Well, she's got a right to. One lousy gun, the whole United States Army can't find her. Sarge, don't you think we ought to go back and take one more look? We've been out too long now. Seems like those bombers could find her. You can't hit what you can't see. All right, let's get back to our lines. Some five minutes. Watch our flanks, there may be more of them. Thank you. 
Mann ihn hoch! Hands up! Du stehst? Du hast mich? What's going on here? Do you talk English? Sure I do. Why shouldn't I? Because you're a heine, that's why. A heine? I'm an American. You're a cockeyed liar. What's going on here? I'll ask the questions. Where'd you get that uniform? Where did I get my uniform? Oh, shut up. Come on, come on, let's go. Straight ahead. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute now, will you? Now look, I'm an American soldier. Well, go on, take a look at my door tags. Yeah, you probably stole them off of some yank. Come on, get out of here, move, that way. Ross! Take a little rest. Tell me something, will you? Who are you? What are you doing going around in that old uniform? Look, my name is Saunders. I'm a sergeant. Sergeant in the United States Army. Now, you saw all my men. Do you think we're all spies? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is your jumping off place. You're gonna infiltrate all along the line. You did it before, once up at the Marne. Hey, there's a magpie. Oh, we got droves of them back home. What a racket they make. Where's home? Indiana. Did you ever hear of it? Sure, I've been there. Yeah? Uh, there's a song. On the banks of the... What? On the banks of the Wabash. Hey, you're pretty well trained there, Fritzy. Won't do you no good, though. We're too smart for you. We're gonna take your von Hindenburg and wrap him up and ship him back to President Wilson for Christmas. Look, whoever you are, it's not von Hindenburg, it's not President Wilson. It's Hitler and President Roosevelt, and this is World War II. Bad mistake. Teddy Roosevelt ain't been in office for years. I don't want to have to kill you. Better get you over to headquarters. They want some prisoners. Now, come on, get your head. Get out of here. Sarge said to wait. Yeah, but he's been out a long time. He's in trouble.
out. I'll cover you. Come on, you heard me. Get going. What about Saunders? We can't get to him. Now move out. place. Uh, Marie, is that your wife? She will be. As soon as Blackjack Pershing kicks you crowds out of France. Uh, is that a picture? You've been here. Huh? Uh, a couple of months, I guess, when the, well, when, when you Germans pulled out of the village, well, we, we come in. And then you started shelling us again. Marie! She must be out in the barn. Come on, outside. March now! No, I'm taking you over to headquarters. Gotta find me. Marie! Marie! I'll come in out with your outfit. Uh, because, uh, because, uh, most of them's killed off. Wiped out. That's how come. A couple of miles back up there in the woods. We was just beginning to dig in. Just infantry. Taking all that heavy stuff you was throwing at us. Day after day. And we was holding out. Then our supplies run out. We couldn't get any ammo. No food. But we was taking everything you was giving us. Trapped up in them woods. Finally, there's just me and, me and Terry. Terry's as good a man as you'll ever see. Terry, 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 move out! Terry, Terry, move out! out.
Oh, Marie, honey. Honey, what's the matter? Marie, Marie, it's me. Marie, honey. from Philip. He never could learn the French. You're a fool. You should have grabbed the gun. Kill me. She needed help. Now listen to me. I'm trying to tell you that I am an American. Qu'est-ce que tu fais là? What is it? He's a German. I gotta take him to headquarters. Will you be all right now? Will you wait a minute? Before you take me to headquarters or shoot me or whatever you're gonna do. Why don't you think of her? She could use a drink. Oh. Give you a second chance to kill me? What is all this talking about shooting? He's a German spy. A spy? Yeah. Philip, think you are? Of course. Of course you are a spy. Your uniform. Come on. Oh, please, Philip. Please, Philip, I don't feel well. Please do get me some cognac, please. Mm -hmm. I will not let him escape. Mm -hmm. uh, give me your rifle. No, I, I, I please. But... If he moves, pull the trigger. I'll be right back. Yes. What's going on here? What is he, what is he do doing running around in that uniform? Monsieur. Oh, Monsieur. Philip thinks it is 1918, the other war. He even thinks I'm still his fiancé, as it was then. In the First War, Monsieur, Philip was a very good soldier, very brave. When he saw almost all his men die out there in the woods, he fought by himself, trying to destroy the Bosch, till the Americans found him. He got a medal, but he was wounded here. The shock of the guns. You mean he's shell shock? Yes. He went to the hospital. He stayed there till the war was over. After he came back here, we got married. We stayed married 25 years. We love each other very much, Monsieur. Well, how was he after? I mean, was he better? The farm work was good for him. He's happy. I'm happy. Then the Bosch come and take over the village. Philip begins to brood. He stays on the farm, never leaves, talks to nobody. Then this morning, the gun's fire starts to hit all around the house. I find Philip standing in the woods, shouting, shouting at, at nothing. He thinks he's back in the first war, fighting the old battle. I call to him. He doesn't hear me. He runs back to the house. Oh, it's terrible. I find him on his knees, searching in the trunk for his old uniform, his rifle. He runs out screaming that he's going to fight the Bosch. I tried to follow him, but he rushed away. I looked for him everywhere, but couldn't find him. I'm so frightened, Monsieur. Help Philippe. Please do help him. Of course I will. 
Of course I will. As soon as I get back to my outfit, I'll send a medic back. Me? I couldn't find a gun. All right, Phil. Sit down. No one's going to hurt you now. Come on, sit down. Not the general, he's an American. Look at his uniform. His uniform is like all others. I'll keep this in the barn just to be on the safe side. I'll send help for him as soon as I can. I'm gonna go in the house! Tell him in it! Machine besorgen, nimm Stelle hinter dem Brunnen.
You did pretty good, soldier. You too. See, this is French cognac. It may fall, but never breaks. Oh. Open it, Chili. Oh. For now, we will not think of war. I will cook a chicken. You will eat with us, monsieur. Chicken, huh? I'd like to, but I have to get back to my outfit. Will you have a drink with us first? Thank you. That gun! I hate it! Yeah, that's freedom. Oh, that gun is Big Bertha! You know, when you were shooting at me this morning, I was coming back from a, from a patrol or out hunting for her. You found nothing? Oh, they got a hidden away pretty good somewhere. Yeah, you gotta hand it to them Heinies. Getting that big gun way after on Rouge Colleen. Rouge? Rouge Colleen? Yeah. Yes, that's, that's a small hill near here. Colleen's means hill, Rouge bag. Are you sure that's where the location of this gun is? Sure, I'm sure. I was up there this morning. Up around Rouge Colleen, I was sneaking around up there. Yeah, I peeked through them bushes up there, and there, there she was, squatting there right on her tracks. Oh, she's a terror. She's got a barrel as long as a barn. I couldn't do anything with rifle or grenades, you know. I, I was coming back here to get some dynamite when I run into you. Phil, do you think you saw the gun, or are you... are you sure? I saw her. Uh, she comes out, she shoots, and goes back into the hill. Is she on railroad tracks? Yeah, the biggest flat car you ever saw. Well, what direction is it from here, do you know? <sighs> you know, the whole battalion's been hunting for that gun. Phil, could you, could you pinpoint this on a map? Hmm. Well, it wouldn't say Rouge Colleen. Rouge Colleen's a local name, you know. Uh, I can point out the place to you on the map. Well, are you sure? I mean, are you, are you positive? I can swear on a stack of Bibles. I... Look, we're wasting time. I can take you there on foot. We'll blow the gun ourselves. Now, wait a minute, Phil. I want you to come to headquarters with me. I want you to show them on a map exactly where that gun is. No, no, come on. Philip! No! Look, what's stopping us? I got 50 sticks of dynamite out in the barn. Come on, Bob. Stop him, please. Phil, wait! Phil! Stop him, Sergeant. He will kill himself. <laughs> Phil, let's do this the right way. This is the right way. No, it's a heavily armed installation. You can't expect us to walk up there with an armful of dynamite and knock it out. We'll be picked off by a dozen sentries. No, we won't. We'll sneak up on them. We'll let's start. Philip, you are a child. A small boy sometimes. Philip, dear Philip, you must not do this. You must not think of this gun. You must not think of this war. Well, really, we're at war with the Germans. We've done... There is no war, remember? There is only our farm. This farm. This house, far from the noise of the world. There is nothing outside for you, Philip. Everything is here. Marie, I got my duty. Well, a soldier's duty is to accomplish his mission. Now, the quickest and best way of knocking out that gun is to get back to intelligence and report its position. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, well, let me put this back. No. No, you go. Oh, Marie, I need his help. He can't help anybody, not even himself. He's confused. I know he's confused, but I have to take that chance. Sometimes he makes sense, a lot of sense. We need him badly, Marie. Again? Yes, again. He has not been out of my sight in 25 years. If he goes, I'll go with him. All right. We'll all go. Come on. 
Oh, simple. Yeah, mighty pretty. I just think of the same thing. About you and me. Now I'm going to rebuild that farm after the war. Want another thing, Saunders? Did you ever see one of the Model T tractors? No, I haven't. Oh. Henry Ford was making them when I got shipped across. I'm going to get one for the farm. That'll do it. That'll... That beats follow on the old gray mare. You better hustle. Yeah. Across that road, we'll be home free. Until I go by us. How long can this convoy be? Long enough. out of the bridge. We can go under the road. Are you sure, Flick? I know I'm not covered. Sure, I'm sure. Uh, when was it? Uh, last week. Terry and I crawled through it. We were stringing wire. Phil. Phil. Is there a culvert? Sure there's a culvert. If there's no culvert, there's no rouge call either. Right in here. 
I know it. It's right about here. Where is it? Perhaps another place nearby. No, no, it's right here. I know Terry and me was hiding from the Heinies. What you're talking about happened 25 years ago. The ground doesn't change in 25 years, Sergeant. No, but the memory does. He could be talking about five different bridges, five different roads, five different places for all I know. I'm just going to have to try to get across that road. to our lines. No, you can't move him. He's going to die if you move him. No. He's got to. Be gentle. There's a man and a woman. He's hurt pretty bad. You can pinpoint a big gun. Go on, go get him. It's over there.
How you doing, soldier? Uh, did they get Big Bertha? Yeah, we got her. I bet by the time I'm well, the Jerry's will be kaput. Finished. Sure they will. Oh, I feel kind of good. I was talking to the doc before, and he says you're going to be okay in about a week. No, no, I didn't mean that. I mean, I... I feel kind of good about helping to get the big Bertha. Why the wrong face? After we win this war, it'll be peace forever, won't it? That's right, soldier. Peace forever. After we win this one. I'll be seeing you, Phil. <laughs>